The sea lamprey is only one of nearly 200 non-native species in the Great Lakes, but it's a nasty one that has taught us valuable lessons. What the sea lamprey does is with this suction cup attaches to adult fish to grind off the scales and then flesh so that they can literally suck the light out of adult fish. This highly specialized parasite could literally wreak havoc on fish populations in the Great Lakes, and of course, that's exactly what it did. Sea lamprey invaded the Great Lakes from the Atlantic Ocean nearly 200 years ago when we opened shipping canals. Niagara Falls held the attack until the opening of the Welland Canal. By the 1950s, the invasion was complete. Their populations exploded. Commercial fisheries were decimated. So the American and Canadian governments joined forces and created the Great Lakes Fishery Commission to study the sea lamprey, learn its weaknesses, and take action to control it. Quite frankly, the Great Lakes Fisheries Commission, as a result of that joint effort by both federal governments, has led to what can only be described as one of the greatest success stories that North America has ever seen. Cooperative research certainly paid off. We learned how to control sea lamprey. Populations have been reduced by 90% in most areas using a variety of innovative techniques. Barriers prevent lamprey from spawning. Releasing sterile males reduces lamprey reproduction, and a selective lamprocyte kills only sea lamprey larvae. Control is costly, but an ongoing necessity to protect the $4 billion Great Lakes fishery. To learn more, call the Invading Species Hotline or visit invadingspecies.com and help keep all our lakes great. This message is brought to you by the Government of Ontario and the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters, your partners in conserving Ontario's biodiversity.